Hello everyone. Today I will explain about the circular water tank attached with a building. So click on Start Pro New Project. Then specify the file name and location. Then click on Next. Then go to Geometry Grant Structure Wizard to import a frame model. Specify length, width, and height. And specify bay along length, height, and width. Then apply. Then go to File, Merge Model with Strat Pro Model. Then click on OK. Here is a building frame and insert a node over here. Say the distance is 1.5. And also we have to insert node here. Copy the node and paste along the x-axis. And select all this node. Translational repeat along y-axis connect this node use the add beam cursor to add a midpoint now we have to insert the water tank over here say the dia of the water tank is 4.5 inches which will be 4.5 into 0 0.3048 is equal to 1.98 meter so the radius will be 1.98 meter divided by 2 equal to 0.68 meter and the height will be 5.5 inches. So the area will be pi d square divided by 4 which will be equal to 3.14 into 4.5 square divided by 4 is equal to 15.896. And now we have to calculate the volume of the water tank which will be area into height is equal to 15.896 into 5.5 is equal to 87.42 cubic feet and we know 1 cubic feet is equal to 28.31 liter or kg so we have to calculate the water volume in liter which will be 87.42 into 28.31 so the water pressure will be 2475.125 liter we know the water density so we have to calculate the water pressure in kilonewton so we can easily calculate the water pressure actually this calculation is based on the residential building So click on this node, then go to view, view selected member and now we have to create the circular grid, click on radial, then specify name, then select the plane exit and specify the number of bay, the number of bay will be 30 or 35, then specify the radius. Click on radial grid, then go to edit, click on the origin cursor, then click on the particular node. Then the grid will be placed then the grid will be placed over here, then press control and click and click here, then select all the node and copy the node along y-axis here the y is the height and specify the value of the height then click on the generate surface mesh go to level then go to structure fill plate surface check the plate surface then apply ok so it is wrong so we have to create the plate again the green color will be the top portion and the gray color will be the bottom portion click one by one and then click on quadrilateral meshing then apply then again click here 
ti con Uplin. And now we have to rotate this slice along the total number of bays through this particular node. So go to the circular repeat. Select all part with the plate cursor. Specify the number of steps which is 35 and specify the node. Another part is there. If you want to end the opening then select the top part as per the dimension and we give this plate. So you have to specify the number of steps which will be the total number of wave. Then specify the node. Click on OK. So here is the water tank. Now go to whole structure. Now you can tick off the field plate surface. Then go to whole structure. Select this floor, then go to view, view selected members, then generate surface mesh. Click over the node one by one, click on quadrilateral meshing, then apply OK. Then go to the next floor. select all the beam actually you have to select all the node because we have to merge the node over the slab so in this situation we have to use the parametric model click on new specify name click one by one over the node Then choose the standard type, specify the target element size which will be 0.5 meter, then add opening node, then click on merge mesh, here the node is merged. Now select the frame, go to view, view selected member, then add generate surface mesh. Click one by one. then click on ok now you have to assign the support click on support then create the support select the support to then select all the bottom node assign to selected node and assign and now you have to assign the property click on thickness specify the slab thickness 0.125 you have to specify the thickness of water tank say the thickness is 0 0.075 select the tank with the help of plate cursor then assign to selected plate assign after that select the plate thickness and select the slab assign to selected plate and assign Now the thickness is assigned. Then click on define rectangle, specify the value of YD and ZD. Say the value of YD is 0.3 and ZD is 0.25. Then select the beam and column. Assign, assign to selected beam and assign. Create another section for the water tank. YD is 0.15 and ZD is 2.
select the frame, assign to selected beams and assign. So the section property is assigned, here is a 3D view. Then go to load and definition. Click the loading type dead load and live load. Specify the title, add self weight in the dead load. Click on the self weight and click on the assign to view assign. After that click on the live load, then click on the hydrostatic load. Choose the plate cursor, select all the plate, then click on done. It will take some time to select all the plates. After that we have to specify the value of W1 and W2. Say the value of W1 is 0 where the tank is empty. When the tank is full pressure then the value of W2 will be 24.25 which will be along the negative y axis. So here is the hydrostatic load. And now we have to analyze this structure. Click on analysis print all at close. Analyze and run analyze save. We have to check if there is any error. And it shows there is no error that's a good news then go to post processing click on the plate then click on the maximum absolute apply ok here is the stress of the plate here is a bending moment diagram. So here is a beam stress. This is the force. This is the force on dead load. And this is the force on the live load. Click on animation, deflection, apply, ok. And follow this part which is vibrating. So here will be the maximum load. Here is a 3D view. If you like this video then subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching this video.